back to my channel. I hope you all are enjoying a Diet Coke today. Because I know I am. Um, today, I wanted to just talk about um, my favorite baby, newborn, toddler, whatever must-haves for your little ones. Um, I have two kids, so I think I've narrowed it down to um, some of my favorites that I've used for both and some favorites that I've used just for Cooper learning from what I didn't have with Grayson. So I'm just going to dive right in. Right now Grayson is out watching Luca and Cooper is taking a nap. Yeah, I thought I heard him. Nope, he's still taking a nap in his swing in the living room. Just kidding, he's awake in the living room. So he's just watching Luca too. So hopefully he'll be good. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, uh, more expensive side of the baby must-haves in my opinion. So if you are expecting to have a baby soon or um, you want this for something in the future, it's a good idea to put some money aside so you can just make that big purchase. Uh, but my top baby must have is the LV breast pump. So the LV breast pump has been super great. It is one of the more spendy items to purchase. Uh, I think it's about four or $500, but you can go through your insurance to get a either free breast pump, or if you wanted to get the LVs, they'll give you a discount. I think I got $200 off on my breast pump. I got the double LV. You can just buy the singular one if you want and switch it from side to side. Um, but I got $200 off with my insurance. I think some, I've heard some people get it for free. They also made an LV stride, which uh, is still a hands-free pump, but it has tubes and a little control for you. I like the LV because it just fits right into your bra and it connects to an app on your phone if you want. You don't have to connect to your app but it's helpful. You can adjust the speeds and suction. So that's been super helpful with me going back to work. I just use it while I'm doing my client's lashes and you honestly can't really hear it. It's is pretty noisy in the salon with the tanning beds or the music um, and then I just let my client out. I was like hey if you hear like a little puff noise mind your business because it's just me pumping milk for my kid um so yeah that's been really great for that journey my next must-have baby item that I think every single parent should purchase um, and make it a priority is the outlet monitor sock um, we bought one for Grayson. A friend of mine told me about it and I bought one on just Marketplace, I think for $100 and we used it with Grayson up until I think he was like a year old. It comes with three different sizes of the sock that you can slip the monitor in and you just put it on their foot. We put it on the kid's left foot. And so that was super useful. Um, it tracks their heart rate and their oxygen levels and if it dips below a certain level then an alarm will go off letting you know you need to like go check on your kid so we used it with cooper 2 grayson's old one we used it with cooper for a few weeks and then it stopped charging um so we had to go buy a new one which was fine we had to we, I wasn't gonna not have one for him. So it is pretty spendy. The third generation is $300. Um, so I had to go buy another one of those, but it's great and I would not ever not use it. So that is a super important one. I think everyone should buy. The third item that is on my must have list is the Newton Baby Crib Mattress. This is another spendier item, but I think it is a staple for parents to buy for their babies. It is a completely breathable mattress made of like almost the same material as like a yogurt cup. And it's got this spiral. I'll put some pictures so you can see what it looks like. But you can put it straight up to your face and breathe through. Like all day, you can just breathe right through it. So if your little one does roll over in the middle of the night, 
Um, I know with Grayson, he started rolling over in the middle of the night and he was comfortable sleeping that way. And that always made me super panicky. Um, cause it's like, what if he can't breathe? And we didn't have this mattress with him, just his socks. So I'm glad that we spent the money on this mattress. Um, so if Cooper does roll over, he can breathe straight through the mattress. And I know he's not going to suffocate that on top of the outlet sock. It's a good combination. I think it cut out at some point there. My tripod died, so it turned off. Um, so anyway, the Newton mattress combined with the outlet sock is a perfect recipe for a peaceful night's sleep for you and your significant other and your baby just knowing that they are gonna be okay. So that is another one I think you must add to your list. My number four must have baby item. Um, I can't believe I honestly didn't get this with Grayson is the Hattress sound machine. I used to use just my laptop and have a YouTube channel pulled up that played like 24 hours of uh, vacuum noises because that's what Grayson liked to fall asleep to. And I didn't up until my baby shower with Cooper. I had I put this on my list because my friend had it and said some great things about it. So my mother-in-law ended up buying it for us and we we loved it we got one for Grayson's room and then we ordered another one for Cooper's room um it's super great you just plug it in and there's an app on your phone so we can go between Grayson's and Cooper's room and adjust the light or what sound we like to play on it we do like the rainforest noises for both the boys um and yeah, it's just really great. White noise is a must have for your little one. It kind of gets them in that mindset of when they hear the white noise, they know, okay, like it's time for me to wind down and go to bed. So it's a familiar sound for them. So it's great to add into your routine if you're sleep training. Um, and ever since we had Grayson, we, Justin and I, we have to fall asleep with white noise on too so now that cooper's in his own room and we don't have the hatch rest in our room anymore i just play the rainforest noises on my phone at night for us but so i think i'm going to get us one of the sound machines for our room because now that we're parents we can't sleep without the white noise either so that is one of my must-haves either way is a um crib aquarium nightlight type thing um one of the most popular ones is the Little Einsteins one, and then there's a Fisher Price one too. So you just hook it onto the side of the child's crib, and there's a screen on it, and you can press buttons, and it will have a little screen, and um, things will move on it and make sound. It has like a blue light, so it's super calming. Uh, Cooper has one in his room on his crib, and it's a little aquarium. I can't find his or Grayson's online, because I think we, we bought, got both of them at like TJ Maxx. So Grayson's is an owl and every time we put him into bed, he points at his owl and so he says owl and we go and turn it on. Grayson's projects onto the ceiling and it sings music and plays like background noises and you, there's a little timer on his for 10, 15, and 30 minutes of how long you want it to play for. So we usually put it for 30 minutes and it just helps him fall asleep. He looks up the sky. And when he was younger, he had it in his crib and he, when he woke up in the middle of the night, he would just press the button and watch it and fall back asleep. And so we decided to put one into Cooper's room too. So instead of just nursing Cooper and putting him to bed, like thinking he needs to be nursed to fall asleep, I put him in bed while he's still awake and then I'll press the button and he just turns and looks at the light and the fish swim and the noises and then he falls asleep. Um, and then he can't press the button right now but when he wakes up he'll be able to press the button and it'll help him fall back asleep. So that's one of my uh, baby hacks and I think everyone should get one of these 10 out of 10 recommend. This is a, a baby monitor. Um, we have the Dr. Meter baby monitor and we got the one that comes with two cameras and one little monitor. Um, I know there are tons of these on the market and at the end of the day, they all serve the same purpose 
for you to be able to check on your little one um, while you're in a different room to see how they're doing. So with this one, I prefer the one that's an actual monitor instead of on your phone because when it's on your phone, you have to, you know, open up an app on your phone and to look at it so you can't multitask, like you can't call or text or you do whatever you need to do on your phone because you have the camera up. So that's why I like having a different monitor. The only downside with this one is like if I was away from the house and I wanted to check in on the kids while um, Justin's home or like if I was away for that or vice versa when because Justin's out of town right now like if he wanted to check on the kids and see how they're doing when they're sleeping he can't do that because we have just this monitor but that's okay so um this is Cooper's crib right here and then I press little camera button and it shows Grayson's room and then if I press it again one second. There we go. Um, it has this little thing in the corner that looks like a, a half circle. And so it'll bounce between the boys' room. So that's Grayson's room and that's Cooper's room. Um, and I think it's like sound activated. So whichever one's like making noise, it'll go to that one automatically. But otherwise every like 15 or 30 seconds, it bounces back between the two. There are some that I've seen that have like a split screen, which would be super great to see both of them at the same time. But this does, <gasps> hi, but this does, um, just as well. And we love it. Uh, I had bought one before. I'll try to figure out which one it is that we absolutely did not like. I had to buy two of them. Both of them broke. Um, it was just because they're really cheap. This one I think is, uh, I don't even know. Like I think $130, but you get the two cameras and then the one monitor. So I really um, recommend this one. But like I said, at the end of the day, the purpose of a baby monitor is just to be able to see where your kid is um, and how they're doing while you're in the other room. So most of these on the market are really great. My next must have baby item is a baby swing. Um, the one that we have is a, we have two actually. We have the Mama Roo, um little glider swing. That's one of the more popular ones. They're pretty expensive and that the top baby must have for most people. Um, we also have the Graco Susan Sweet that which was also gifted to us. Um, and honestly, we like that one way more than the Maru and the price tag is a lot nicer. Um, I think it's like a hundred dollars less and that's the one Cooper spends a lot of time in. Um, and also you can detach it and put it as just a bouncer on the floor. The Mamaru, I just wasn't really impressed with it. It's pretty noisy, it's pretty bulky, and it's not like this magic contraction that everyone made it out to be. So I don't think you, don't even bother spending your money on the Mamaru. Uh, we really do like our little Graco swing, but even with Grayson, we bought a swing off of Marketplace for $5, and it was also a little Graco one that swung um, back and forth. Cooper swings side to side, so we did upgrade a little bit because uh, we were in a better position now than we were when we did have Grayson. But at the end of the day, they all serve the same purpose, kind of like with the baby monitors. A swing is a swing, but I wouldn't spend your money on the Mamaru. It's overrated and you don't need it. The next item that is a baby must have for us is the Snuggle Me Organic Baby Lounger. With Grayson, he didn't really need one for sleeping. He he was always such a great sleeper. You could put him anywhere and he'd fall asleep. But with Cooper, he likes to be snuggled and held. And so whenever we put him in his bassinet or his crib, he would wake right up because he felt like he was just like, he wanted to be held basically. So I decided to order one of these because it kind of hugs your body. So. He's been sleeping great since he's had it. Um, I really do recommend it. It says it's, I don't think it's, they say for your baby not to sleep in it, but we have the monitor and the outlet sock and he's fine. So I really do recommend that. 
Um, a lot of people get the Dot Tot. This one is a little cheaper than the Dot Tot and I think it's worth it. I like the more modern, minimalistic look of it. We have the burnt orange color and they have them in all different colors. Um, and we also have the Graco lounger, which we don't really use too much. Uh, I bring it into the living room sometimes and have him sit on it, but usually if he is out there, he's in his swing if I need to set him down for a second because he likes to be swayed back and forth. So maybe when he's a few months older, he'll be okay with just being on the Great Go Lounger. But I really do recommend the Snuggle Me. It's been one of our top baby items for sure. My next must-have baby item is the bath flower for infants. This was great um, with Grayson. I remember his first bath, first couple baths were so traumatic for him because he just felt so cold and I didn't really know what I was doing. I was like, you just, you need a bath. Uh, the flower, I put it in my kitchen sink. I used to put it in my bathroom sink, but he's gotten too big for it. So I just put it in my kitchen sink and then fill it up with warm water for him and I put him in there with a little washcloth over him and it's just like you're swaddled in a blanket laying on a pillow. Um, I really recommend it. I've seen it before and I was hesitant to get it last time because I was like how do you dry it off but it's pretty easy. During the summer we would just hang it outside and then the sun would dry it and now I just hang it in the shower and then it drip dries and we can use it for next time so that's been super helpful and it comes in different flowers too like a sunflower gray we have the gray white and yellow so that's been my next must have baby item is a super simple one and they're just baby wipes the baby wipes we like the most are water wipes they are 99 percent water and there are no perfumes or anything in them which is super great we've tried a couple of them with grayson and some would give him like little rashes and bother his skin and some of them were just super dry. The water wipes have been our favorite. They are really wet. I know some people don't like that, but they get everything off and they've been our favorite ones so far. My next must have baby item is the baby carrier. The baby carrier that I like the most that I've tried so far is the Ergo Baby 360 Fit. Um, I have it in a beige color and I got it off of Poshmark or Mercari, one of the two sites, because they are a spendier item. I think they're like $150 to $200, but they are a heavy duty um, baby carrier. I've tried the wraps, I've tried like cutesy ones that I've found from shops, like with the, you know, silk and the ties and all that and they're fine for a little bit but this one's been my favorite one so far he feels secure and um i like the minimalistic color of it so i would recommend getting one of those either from i see them on marketplace all the time or posh poshmark or mercari so you can get a lower ticket price for it but a baby carrier is a must for getting things done around the house or when you're out and about and if your baby likes to be close to you. My next baby must have is a Baby Brezza Formula Pro. I say Brezza, but I know a lot of people pronounce it Brezza, so that's how we're gonna say it. Um, we used this with Grayson up until he was a year old. He was formula fed from the very beginning. Uh, he was jaundiced at the hospital and had a tongue tie and I just don't produce a lot of milk. I don't with Cooper either, which is fine. Um, it's basically a Keurig, but for baby form formula, and it's honestly a lifesaver. You just fill the top with the formula and then fill the tank with water, and it has different settings you can choose. Uh, I think it's two, four, six, and eight ounces. Maybe there's a 10 too. Um, you press the button, put the bottle underneath, and it gives you the correct amount of formula and water at the perfect temperature for your little one, so it's ready to go. It's great for in the middle of the night when you're super tired and need to go get a bottle. You don't want to have to warm the water up and then forget how many <laughs> scoops you put in. I, just, I remember that, like being at a friend's house and not having it and having to warm up the water and then having the formula. I'm like, wait, did I put one or two scoops in there? And uh, it's a real thing, mom brain. 
Um, we do have it hooked up right now. Justin and I, we switch off at night uh, when Cooper wakes up. So when it's his turn, we, he just gets him a formula bar bottle at nighttime. And then during the day, we just use the frozen stash when I'm not home. And then if I'm home, I nurse him. But I think I'm going to stop nursing soon. He's four months old right now. And like I said, I just have a super low supply. No matter what I do, I'm just one of those people. So it's kind of sad that I'm going to stop. But I'm very thankful that we have the baby Brezza. It makes life so much easier. So that's one I really do recommend that you get if you're playing to formula feed. And if you are not able to breastfeed, don't feel bad about yourself. Some people, it just, it's harder for others. It's hard regardless, but some people just don't produce a lot and you get down on yourself, but there's inventions like this for a reason. So I recommend it. My last baby must have is baby paper. Baby paper is great for baby play at this age. Cooper is four months old and he's starting to discover like toys, his hands and feet. And so baby paper, I put it in front of him and he just kind of like grabs it and puts it in his mouth and starts crinkling it. They like the noise, they like the feel and his is a black and white stripe. So he likes the color contrast. Um, and I really do recommend a lot of parents at this age, they are trying to find things for their little one to do because you can't like play ball with them you can't there's a lot that they can't do so this is a good stepping stone for their first toys all right that is my list of baby must-haves at least the ones that came straight to my mind when i thought what is something that parents should get for their babies uh, that are super useful I might make a part two to this video later on if I think of some more things that become useful um, that I think parents should include. So that is my video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye!